Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Super Mario Odyssey while permanently crouching. Last time we got a whole bunch of moons in Lake Lamode. Uh, we got, this time we're gonna go have a look for the plants that we planted last time, and then we're going to probably open the moon rock. Uh, because we're kind of running out of options here without doing that. Uh... If you look at the moon list here, that's 25 moons out of 33, so there should be another 8 somewhere, but I, they don't seem to be showing up because the area didn't reload properly. So we probably need to open the moon rock to make stuff show up. Uh, anyway, uh, the plant, as you can see, has grown. We can break it open and get the moon out. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Yeah! <laughs> Um, actually, let's go cash in the moons we have here, and then we're going to go do that hint art and see if that reloads the area. Let's go swim to the top of the lake here. There we go, the lake is quite deep. <laughs> Just hop our way over here. So, yeah, the hint art, uh, which we saw over here for this kingdom, can be found... If you look at that picture, it's pretty obvious. That's the Cascade Kingdom, right? So, with these kind of hintars, there's a few like this. You see two pictures, you have to look for the difference between the two pictures, and that's where the moon will be. Uh, in this case, it's pretty obvious. You can see that one of those little... bone... thingies, those fossils, those... are they ribs? I don't know. The, those bones there. You can see that there's an extra one in one of the pictures. And that is where the moon will be. So we're going to go and have a look and see if we can gather that moon. And then we'll come back here and see if that reloads the area. If it doesn't, then I'm going to open the moon rock. <laughs> so yeah, we're cashing in those moons. There we go. Yay! New product added to the shop. So yeah, we're going to head back to the Cascade Kingdom now. And just have a quick look around and see if going back there is enough to reload the Lake Kingdom and make the stuff that should be showing up show up. If it's not, this is just going to be the B-side video and we're just going to do it that way. Uh, Lake Lamode, I forget exactly how much is on the B-side. I seem to remember there aren't that many moons inside the moon rock, so that shouldn't produce too long a video. We'll see how we go though, because I can't quite remember. Anyway, here we are back in Fossil Falls. We still don't have the um, secret path moon for this kingdom. And I believe there's one other moon we haven't got yet. Yes, and we haven't quite got those yet, but we will soon. So yeah, the fossil is just over here, is the spot on the hint art where there was a missing rib. I guess these are ribs. You just ground pound here, and you get the moon. ba da ba da ba da ba yeah! So having done that, which is quite simple, we're going to head back to the Lake Kingdom now and see whether it's changed or if everything is still the same as before. Also, the moon is now yellow because the moons you cash in are always the local colour instead of being whatever colour the moons you actually got were, which is kind of an interesting quirk of the game. Uh, you can only cash in moons from another kingdom when you get to the post-game, otherwise they stay, like pending until you actually cash in the correct location. So, that weird quirk, that, that, that weird quirk is only a post-game thing, it's not part of the regular gameplay. Uh, Alright, so we're just heading back to Lake Kingdom now. We'll see if the Lock Lady dress is there, and a few other things that are supposed to have loaded, but hadn't. Uh, it looks like they have. Uh, I think it has reloaded now that we've gone to another kingdom properly instead of through a painting. Yeah, we're getting all the post-game stuff happening now. So Cappy's noticing the moon rock is glowing. And yeah, uh, Luigi's up there. We've got some other stuff going on. We can do the race now. So yeah, this is this is the proper uh, like version of the um, kingdom you get once you've done the story. This is what's supposed to happen. So if we head over to, if we make our way over here to the, uh, the dress, we'll be able to see that there's actually a dress there now. See? 
in the middle of the screen, you can see the dresses there now. Uh, there's some other things we can do now, so we're going to be doing those, and then we're going to call that a video. Uh, so first thing is we're going to go up here. You can see there's these three lock ladies here with berets on. They are the style sisters. They want to see us wearing a certain outfit, basically. We don't have a pirate outfit yet. We also don't have... Oh, we do have a cowboy outfit. Uh, the one we don't have is this one, which is an astronaut outfit. The only one we already have is this one here, which is the cowboy outfit. So we're going to go put that on to get that moon. Uh, yeah, so the style sisters are supposed to show up as soon as you do the story, but it didn't refresh properly until we actually left the kingdom for reals. Uh, we can get dressed over here at this cutie cap store. Uh, there we go. So yeah, let's, let's go over to the this here, switch our outfit out. There we go. You need the entire outfit or it won't work. You have to get both halves. There we go. Uh, actually, if we talk to... Uh, the outfits here you can buy in the post game. Some of them are substitutes. There's the pirate outfit which we need. So we'll buy that too while we're here. Uh, actually, we'll probably come back and put it on anyway. So we won't buy that just yet. We'll come back and buy it in a second. Uh, a couple of the other outfits you can get are substitutes for the outfits they want. You can also wear this Satellaview outfit instead of wearing the astronaut outfit, for example. So we could do them all in one go because we can buy both of those outfits here. Um, so we can get all three of these moons right now. We're probably going to do it that way. Also, let's just bonk against that wall. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're going to get, go get all three of those moons. Uh, I don't know, are you walking here? <laughs> yeah, so you can see the dress is there now. It's supposed to show up once you've done the story when you come back here because the idea is all the treasures get returned. But there's some sort of glitch that makes it not refresh areas if you do the story in the post game and you don't actually leave. Uh, you're the cowboy one, right? No, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to, to this, this lady over here. Yeehaw! Ba -da -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba. Yeah! <laughs> so that's one of the moons we need. Uh, basically, yeah, you talk to each of these style sisters wearing an appropriate outfit, and they will give you a power moon. So we have to get the, the pirate outfit next. So we're going to go back down to the shop here and buy it. Uh, since we could buy all the outfits at once, but since you have to come back to the wardrobe to change anyway, it's probably just as fast to do them separately. Uh, um no speedrunner, it might be a bit slower. So yeah, we want to wear the pirate outfit, which consists of, you know, one of these classic piratey looking hats, and an eye patch, and all that sort of thing. Very piratey. Extremely piratey. There we go. Okay, so now we have our crouching pirate here, and we're going to take him up to talk to, I think the middle style sister was the one that wanted to see this. No. Yes. Yes. That's right. All right. So we're gonna swim, swim our way back up to the plaza. I'm gonna go from over here just to show off a little bit. It's not actually hard to get up from here. There we go. Middle one. Yes. So yeah, you show us some pirate clothes. Uh, you can get the astronaut clothes by getting the uh, the spacesuit is available from. From what's it called? <laughs> uh, oh, from Honey Loon Ridge. It's, you can get it by, by paying a certain amount of star bits. Um, but we won't be going there for a while, so it'll be much faster if we get to Teleview outfit, which we can afford with our current coin total, and put that on instead. So we're going to do it that way, and then we're going to do the Cooper free running, which in this kingdom is hilariously easy. All of the Coopers, um, basically you go from where the free running Cooper is, we saw them out the front there, to the plaza, I think. Yeah, where the Style Sisters are, basically. And it's hilariously easy because all of the Coopers go through... Not that one. This one. We can afford this one. <laughs> so yeah, this is a Teleview outfit we want to put on. That, that counts as a space outfit because it is an astronaut costume of sorts. There we go. Once we put that on, we'll be able to head up wearing this outfit, 
and that should give us the moon from the last style sister. Um, but yeah, so with the Koopa thing, it's hilariously easy because every Koopa, including the gold one, takes the intended route through this kingdom, through that tunnel. But as we've shown several times already, even like without the stairs there, they're not there when you do the Koopa 3 running, it reverts back to the old version of the kingdom before we did the story. Even without the stairs there, while permanently crouching even, it's still very, very easy to just climb up that way and skip the entire tunnel. Which means that both of those moons will be very easy to get. Uh, yep. I'm wearing space clothes, thank you. Ba -da -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba. Yeah! <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so, take a look now. We have 29 out of 33 moons. One of them I'm going to leave for the actual B-side video, because right now we're just doing it. We're really just doing A-side stuff. Um, uh, but the other ones, we can do... We swim our way back over here, we can go get the... Alright, the free running. Yeah, I was just talking about it. We're going to do the free running next. So, yeah, basically, it's easy because the Coopers will free run that direction through the underwater tunnel, but we can just climb up there with basically no hassle whatsoever and skip the entire race, essentially. Uh, we just talk to this Cooper here to set it off. Uh, there will only be one moon to get here because I haven't opened the moon rock and I'm not planning to open it just yet. See, as you can see, we've gone back to the pre-story version, where it's night time and the stairs are missing, and we want to get up to the top of the plaza there. Uh, not actually to where the Style Sisters are, but close enough. So yeah, basically they're all going to go the wrong way, because we're just going to go over here and just make our way up. And that skips basically the entire race. We just have to swim our, our way over now, and we're good. And it is hilariously easy, because even the Gold Cooper, who's supposed to be good at racing, does not do this. <laughs> so yeah, we're, we're way, way, way ahead. We're just gonna... I'm not trying to go for, like, a good time or anything, but we're going... We're making good time anyway. There we go. Easy peasy. Uh, I have no idea where the other Coopers are, but they're very far away. <laughs> Blazing fast, bro. Ba -da -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba. Yeah! Okay, if we look at the moons now... Let me see, there's 30 out of 33. So there are three more moons to be had in here before opening the moon rock. Uh, let me think. One of them I don't want to do in this video... Uh, because it's essentially it's post game, even though it's not inside the moon rock, so I don't want to get it right now. I'm gonna go over and see what Talkatu has to say because I can't quite remember where the other two are. Oh, there's a secret path, which we can't do right now either. And there's one more moon, which I cannot remember. Uh, I don't think the tourist comes to the Lake Kingdom, but I could be wrong. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Uh, I could actually look it up, which might be a better move. Uh, Talker 2 is down here on the first floor, so you just gotta climb your way down. There we go. And Talker 2 to Talker 2. Secret path. That doesn't really help me. I'm just gonna quickly search whether the tourist comes here. Tourist in the lake. Kingdom. <laughs> because I can't remember. Uh, let me see. It looks like no. Alright, so there must be another moon I've forgotten about, which is the one remaining moon we can still get at this point. Let me just flip through the list here. Um, ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba -da -da -da. Uh, all of the moons we're missing, it's 28 and 33 that I want to check. Yeah, I'm kind of cheating a bit here, but you know, I've finished the game already, so it's not a big deal. Eight. Oh, right, the taxi. Okay, so yeah, all we gotta do is head back to the beginning of the kingdom. Head back to the beginning of the kingdom, like I'm doing here. Swim, 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 swim. Swim, 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 swim. 
So this is another thing that we couldn't do until the kingdom reset itself, because I tried to do this earlier and it didn't work. But basically, it's another one of those kink those um moons where you just go find the binoculars, capture them, and look at something weird in the sky. In this case, it's a taxi. So that might even be the tourist taxi, maybe. It probably isn't, because I think you can get that without finishing Tostarina, so that the taxi wouldn't have left and would still be frozen up in the ice, but yeah. So yeah, that is 31 moons out of 33. Uh, we will be getting the other two later, but for this video, that's all we're doing. So this is going to be a bit of a short video. We got just five moons. Uh, but we got to buy two new outfits. Um, so that's exciting. <laughs> Um, let's cash in. Actually, we got six moons, didn't we? Because we got the hint art. So, we got six moons. So, that's actually pretty good. Um, I'm going to cash these in now, just so we're at a clean slate for the next video. At which point, we'll be doing the post-game. Opening up that moon rock. Bam. Yeah. <laughs> um, but for now, that's this video. So, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed this slightly shorter visit to Lake Lamode, and I hope you enjoy our next visit to Lake Lamode, which will be a normal length visit. Um, yeah, I just wanted to check. Um, we do have all the purple coins, so I probably will be getting the souvenirs and stuff in the next video as well. We can do that before the post game is up, but I'm probably going to put it in the next video. Uh, actually, no, it would be better to do it in this video now, think about it. Because the next one's going to probably be quite long, because some of the post game stuff in this kingdom is hard. And I'm probably going to make it, like, a self-imposed, even harder challenge to avoid trivialising certain things. So... Uh, let's head in here, just, just get the souvenirs, and then I think we're probably done for this video. Um, sadly, we don't have enough moons yet to unlock the best costumes in the yellow shop. Uh, you basically, as you collect moons, you slowly unlock a whole bunch of extra costumes in that shop. And there's one in particular that I really, really want to get, but you need a lot more moons to reach it. Uh, let me see. We need that outfit later, but we don't need it just yet. Um, so you can see the ones that say new are the ones that unlock by, get by getting moons. And as you can see, there are a lot of them. Um, but yeah, we haven't quite got enough to unlock the outfit we want, and I think we'll be getting more moons for quite a while before we can actually get that outfit, which is a bit sad. Uh, anyway, that's that for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, next time we will be doing the post game in this kingdom, so look forward to that, and take care, and meow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Also, take a look up there. See that effect from the dress, sort of rippling in the water. It looks really nice. Lake Lamode is, is a really, really pretty kingdom, and I am a big fan of it. And the music here is really nice, and there's the dress too, which is, yeah, Cappy likes it. I think we should give her a Lock Lady dress to wear. She would look lovely. I mean, she's just, she's just like hat size, so maybe just the veil, but you know, I th she would still look lovely. So I reckon we should do that. Um, something to think about doing. <laughs> uh, but for now, that's this video. So thanks for watching. Um, hey, I'm Wadlin here. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, next video, yeah, we'll be doing the B-side. So look forward to that, folks.